This one might roll into the rough. Well, a man on the ground, John McCarthy, would have a better look at this. How's it lying? Yeah, they're in the sand, and it's sitting up pretty good in this sand. Pretty good lie. some good distance on that one and here we are with the third shot Well struck. Opportunity to make their par. Okay, steady now. It's just about three feet away. And down it goes. Currently at plus one for the day. Yeah, well, you're used to making bogeys a lot, Luke. This player is not. I think that there would be birdies to come, no doubt about it. This hole here is a par four. Let's see if they can bounce back after that bogey. That's heading for the fairway. This tournament's coming alive. I wonder what just went down. Let's recap the action from just some moments ago. Well, I'm always happy to recap shots like this. Let's take another look. Let's return to live play now. Rich, they say you need to have at least one weapon to be a success on tour. But for me, Kevin Kisner has two. Yes, he's a great player, but my God, he's a feisty competitor. That, I think, is his greatest asset by a long shot. We got a first taste of it a few years back in the playoff loss at the Players' Championship. And going forward, he is week in and week out a force to be reckoned with. He gets any kind of taste of the lead, sniffs the lead. He's not going anywhere. He wants that bad. And he's not going to He's not gonna make it easy on you. He's not going to make bogeys. He'll par you to death. He will absolutely make you as uncomfortable as he possibly can. He's not long. He's not tall. He's not intimidating. But I got to say, when you look in his eyes, you know that guy is the real deal. Well, that's an impressive little chip. Judging it beautifully. Okay, that hole's behind you now. And this player's moving up on the leaderboard after that hole. Here we are at the third. The tee is yours.
That's a good looking shot there. From around 180 yards out. Wind's blowing from left to right. We're going to try and hook this one in the wind to slow the golf ball down. Opting for the five iron. Well, that'll work up on the dance floor. Could have been worse. And John, uh, how long's this putt? It seems to be a fair way. Well, from the from my viewpoint, at least, looks around 29 feet. Make this one. It's for par. Job done. Let's head to the next. Sitting at one over for the event. love these holes here we have a par three well on the tee now coming off a par a chance to pipe one up the middle Going with the seven. They're not a bad shot, that one. And let's take a look at this shot from just a moment ago. And this effort by Gary Woodland was just a little while ago. This is his third. Oh, that's a beauty. How about holding that one? And back to the course with the live action. Sadly hasn't made a putt all day. Hopefully that can change here. That's the right pace. This should drop. That wasn't your best effort, was it? Just four feet remaining between him and the hole. A 
But don't mind the look of this. Yeah, he'll take that. Justin Thomas is at the top of the leaderboard with a one-shot lead. It's time to step onto the tee here at the fifth. That should find the fairway. Looks to have chosen the seven iron. Gee, there's some energy and action going on all around this property. Wonder what's happened. Now that looked pretty good the whole way. Outside chance of the birdie, but a two putt here is still good. This would be a great up and down from this spot. How close was that to going in the hole? Great shot. Oh, that's incredible. He sold it. Whoa, check this out. In fuego, dialed in, call it what you will. Holding it from the fairway. Thank you very much. Butting for birdie. Well, there's a wild ride. He yeah, has about 14 feet to the hole. Oh, just missed. And this next putt, it's for bogey. Well, that hole's behind us. More to play. Trailing by six shots after that hole. Par threes are always fun. See if he could knock it close. Well, this is a long way from downtown, but you're closer. John, what's he got in front of him? This looks like about 34 feet to the cup, guys. Big chance here. 
Nice judge of speed. You should be proud of that one. And with that, you can go and put a par on the card. So after that hole, this is the current standings on the course. Our current leader is enjoying a one-shot lead. Welcome to this par five hole. Well done. Time for the second shot here at the seven. Seems to have chosen the three wood. Let's take a look at Gary Woodland. Sitting at one under the card, currently tied for eighth place. I shot that. That should find the surface. Oh, that's great. It just missed the hole. Oh, my God. That'll help make a big move. Let's get back to it, shall we? Blessed with physical attributes that is the envy of most people on tour. This man is a physical presence, but he's now a real presence on leaderboards and also a major champion, Gary Woodland. He's the modern player. He's a big, strong young man who was a multi-sport athlete growing up. So he's got great eye-hand coordination from playing basketball all those years. In fact, quit basketball in college to focus on golf solely. And I have to say that you can watch him hit golf balls, you can watch the chipping, you can watch the putting and all that and how great it is but you really don't measure the greatness of the man until you get a chance to say hi to him. And he's probably got the warmest heart of any player out on tour. He truly is just an all-American nice guy. Can't say that about a lot of folks, but you can definitely say that about Gary Woodman. That's the Midwest kid in him. Not a bad line, this one. Second shot here on the eighth. One just missed the hole. This putt coming up is for birdie. And down it goes. So that's back-to-back -back birdies. I like it. Two in a row. He's feeling it. Let's have a look at Bryson DeChambeau from earlier. He's a sharp shooter from short range, isn't he? It's in the hole. Let's take a look at the leaderboard.
have a par five on this one. That's some good golf right there. This is the second shot here on the ninth hole. It might be ambitious to some, but they're going for the green. Well, this is one of those lies that dictates a shot. It doesn't seem like it's a tough one. So much easier when you roll like that, isn't it? Got to say, his short game is phenomenal. It was on a good line. And this putt coming up for his par. And down it goes. Let's head to the next. So, no movement on the leaderboard there, remaining at even overall. Unfortunately, backing up slowly but surely on that leaderboard, Luke. The back nine at Quail Hollow presents all sorts of challenges, Rich, and it opens up with a, a generous offering here at the 10th. The bunker down the left-hand side is only carried with the longest of tee shots. Leave it a little bit out to right. You're going to have some tree trouble on your second shot. A chance to go under par here if you can just keep the bogeys off the card. That's an awful error. Let's take a look at Gary Woodland playing their fifth shot. OK, let's get back to the action. John, you're down there. How's this ball lying? Well, definitely not where they planned to be, but they could have had a lot worse of a situation. Sitting up pretty good here in the sand. Well, that was a good strike. Getting ready to play their third. Five strokes behind our leader. Needs this one to kick right. That's well played. Anything on the green from there was fine. He's already made a few birdies today, and this is another good look. This one looking really good. Oh, that's a great save. What an effort. Yeah, in the bunker, off the tee, great recovery. Justin Thomas is our current leader. You've reached the 11th hole, and the tee is yours. Well, there's no doubt they'd have some positive vibes coming off that birdie. Let's see if they can keep it rolling. Well, I like the look of the line here. This should find the fairway. Time.
time for the second shot at the 11th. Well, they'd love a little bounce to the right here. Yeah, a quality shot, that. Birdie at the last. This for another. And this putt to move into the top ten. Looking better. You can mark it down. That's birdie number four today. And he'll move into the top ten. And JT is currently our leader. Always positive coming off a of birdie. Let's see what happens here. Well played, mate. From around 120 yards here. Wind's blowing right to left here, and they're going to go ahead and ride the one in here. Oh, this one should find the surface. Good shot, this. Luke, unfortunately, that got a horrible kick. Ended up in the rough. Well, that's very crafty, isn't it? Just eyeballing that one, trying to make it. Let's see if you can make this. Keep the par on the card. And that puddle drop. Well done. John, you're down there. What's happening? Well, guys, over on the 14th hole, and this is a look at Bryson DeChambeau. And from the bunker here, looking for an up and down. And after that effort, this is how the field is shaping up. Justin Thomas is atop the leaderboard. He's got a one-shot buffer. We have a par three on this one. And after a par at the last, a chance to perhaps signal some intent. Looks to be going with a hybrid here.
Nicely done. This putt will move them to three under par. coming up well to be honest those are the parts you have to make at this level of competition just three feet to the cup looking good and that's for a bogey and Justin Thomas currently leads the field But when you stand on the tee here at the 14th at Quail Hollow Club, Rich, you're given two choices. Do you lay up or go for it? It begs you to take out the big stick and go for it. However, most days the proper play is take an iron out and lay it up down the right-hand side, opening up the green for the second shot. And from the bunker here. What a shot! Almost went in the bucket. What an opportunity to make a birdie. Mark it down, that's birdie number five. And with it, he'll move to a couple under par. John, do you have any info down there? This is the 15th hole, guys. Uh, Kevin Kisner getting ready to hit. Time for the fifth shot. Ah. Oh, what a shot! Mark it down as an eagle. What a play from the rough. Was hoping to get on the green and does one better. So with another hole behind us, let's take a look at the leaderboard. Justin Thomas is atop the leaderboard with a two-stroke lead. Let's see what happens here on the 15th. This one looks to be heading for the sanctuary of the fairway. Second shot here on the 15th. Interesting choice of the driver here. Oh. 
And here we are with the third shot. Four strokes off the lead. And this putt is to move into the top five. Oh, what a shame. That would have been a nice one to hold. And this one is for his par. Putt drops, now two under, heading down the stretch. And now we head to the 17th, and this happened just a moment ago. Bryson DeChambeau with a fantastic shot. Good look here for a second shot. Let's take a look at the leaderboard as it stands. Justin Thomas has built a two-stroke advantage over the field. Welcome to this hole, it's a par four. And after a part of the last, chance to maybe take a step in the right direction here. It's finished with a flurry. It'd be nice to make a move up the leaderboard. like that, didn't you? Time for the second shot at the 16th. Opting for the hybrid, I think. That'll work, that's fine. Just take a look at this one, Rich. Do you think it's makeable? Luke, I gotta say, I don't like their chances. I, I have been wrong once before, but I really can't remember when that was. Just didn't drop. Three feet to go here to the hole. Oh, what a stroke. Solid power putt, that. Justin Thomas is our current leader. got to hit a number of big boy shots here at Quail Hollow Club and none bigger than the tee shot at the par 3 17th. Luke, time to step up and make the best swing of the day on this challenging par 3 17th. Find the center of the green and you're a happy player. Opting for the five wood. And approach didn't seem to fit their eye. Oh, the wind wreaks havoc with another golf ball. Time to play from the bunker. How close was that to going in the hole? Great shot. Wonderfully played. Let's return to live play now. This would be a great up and down. Go ahead and make it.
And he needs this to save par. I like the look of this. Yeah, good putt. Well hold. And JT is currently our leader. Well, if you think you've passed the worst of it after playing the 17th at Quail Hollow Club, think again. Welcome to the last. Yes, water going all the way down the left-hand side of this fairway. That bunker on the right has crippled many a player. Find the fairway and give yourself an opportunity to find the green in two. That is right down the sprinkler line. Second shot here on the 18th hole. Nicely done. And this punt for a final score of 69. Ouch, that hurts. And this putt is for a final score of 70. And that will do it. His work is done here. So, but it's all said and done, just two shots the margin between them and victory, or at least a playoff reach. How do you assess their performance? It was good. It was good all around. A you know, couple of chances they could have taken out there today, but they just didn't, didn't get it quite done. So they'll look back at those missed opportunities, no doubt, but I think they're also going to be very thrilled with the fact they had such a good finish, just two strokes back. Great performance. Well, on behalf of myself, Luke Elby, and Rich Bean, thanks for tuning in. Catch you tomorrow.
Sports PGA Tour event brought to you by 2K Sports. Today's coverage of the Golf Club Championship is about to start. I'm Luke Elvey, alongside Rich Beam in the booth. And Rich, let's get right into it. Take us through the opening hole of this course. Opening hole at McCarroll Valley Golf Club is normally a par five for the members, but they've moved the tee box up from the back tees this week. It'll play at its most 531 yards. Downhill tee shot, you want to avoid those bunkers both right and left. Should you find them, you're going to end up laying up out to the right-hand side. You find the fairway, you've got a decent look at this well-bunkered green. All in all, a par four here, and you're screaming to the second hole with a big smile on your face. Big day coming up. Can't wait to see how it unfolds, Rich. This should be an absolute beauty. That yeah, should find the cut stuff. Playing this shot from about 180 yards. Wind is blowing left to right. Going to try and hold it against the wind. Going with the hybrid. Fingers crossed for a good kick to the left. Getting ready to play their third. Five feet coming up to the cup. Hey, that's a chance. Nicely hold. And for par. Starting the round at even par. Here we are at the second tee. Yeah, this is a quality looking shot, this one. That should find the short stuff. Second shot on the second. Great looking shot, this. Oh, that's a great shot. It sets up a wonderful birdie look here at the second. Absolutely. In there close. Good look at birdie coming up. Punt is underway. Well done. Take the birdie. Let's take a look at Kevin Kisner's effort from earlier. This is how you do it, seven days a week. And after this hole, that's how it looks. threes always offer up that hope of a hole in one. And choosing the eight iron here. Oh, look at this. Right down the throat.
Yep, that shot safely on the green. And this one for back-to-back -back birdies. Looking really good, this one. Oh, what a lovely putt to make. And I like it two in a row. Finds himself in a share of seventh. We've arrived at a par four hole. Looking shot this. <laughs> Moments ago, a beautiful shot happened on the course. Let's take a look at it. And how about this shot from Patrick Cantley? Third shot now. A couple under at this stage, currently tied for seventh position. <laughs> Going with the eight iron here. Uh-oh, this one's out, heading towards the rough. It's fair to say that wasn't their best shot. Oh, look at that. The wind just wreaking havoc with that shot. Disappointing. And here we are with the third shot. Three strokes off the lead. Certainly makes putting easy if you can chip it that close. You better believe it is great stuff to watch. Now fall back after that hole. Let's see what happens here at the fifth. Oh, well struck. This drive's heading for the fairway in my eyes. <laughs> Playing from around 210 yards here. Four shots behind our leader. Looks like they've got the five wood. Well, that's a tremendous shot and sets up a wonderful opportunity. Two big hits there, knocking it on this par five and two. Well, good chance to take it even deeper here. This putt's for four under.
Ooh. Terrific shot, almost an eagle. And they'll tap this in for birdie. And after that hole, this is how the leaderboard looks right now. And with that, he'll move to three under par. He's currently tied for fifth. Well, I love these holes. The short par four. Do you be bold or lay up? disappointing that one Ooh, sometimes you need a hacksaw to get out of this rough no this is like hitting it into a head of cabbage i mean it literally is just awful yep give yourself a pat on the back john give us a small update down here on the seventh hole now. This is Kevin Kismet. Getting ready to play their third. Oh, oh, great shot. Holes out for a birdie. A little punch shot here. Oh, yes. What a result. Fantastically played. A chance to move deeper under the card. This putts for four under. It's tracking. The putt drops, and that's back-to-back -back birdies. And that will take him to four under. The leader now has a one-stroke advantage. And they'd be feeling buoyed with confidence after that birdie. Here's a good chance to maintain the momentum. with a three wood here not a bad shot that still a chance never seen a scorecard that doesn't look good with a two on it What a putt. And that will take him to five under. He's currently tied for first. And after that good play, moving up the leaderboard. And now teeing off on this par four hole.
Not really what they were hoping for there. This lie won't be too bad in the first cut. Great shot here at the eighth, and a chance for birdie. Almost a gimme birdie there, Luke. Fantastic. And that putt will give them birdie number six on the day. And that will take him to six under. Now, current leader is enjoying a one-shot lead. Oh, and they increase their lead. This is impressive, Luke, but can they hold up this play? Come on, you're better than that. Oh my, that's a putrid lie. Can he get out of here? Well, they're in deep here, guys. Really nestled into this sand trap. Let's see what happens. Smart shot, always back into the fairway as a safe play. Sitting at six under, currently in the lead. Going with the nine iron, I think. Mm. That's right out of the copy books. Exquisite. Seven feet to the cup. Looks good off the blade. Oh, what a round this is. Seven birdies today. And that will take him to seven under. Well, Rich, this is the pivotal final nine coming up, and the player's perfectly positioned. They've given themselves a chance. Yeah, but I, I like the position. I like being out in front. It forces the other players to come catch you. I like their position. Well, that should find the bunker. And now intrepid on course reporter, John standing by. Well, guys, I'm on the 10th hole. This is Kevin Kisner. And here we are with the third shot. Wow. Oh, how good was that? Oh, this one out of a smelly spot on the golf course but no bother for this player. Sitting at seven under, currently in the lead.
that's on the green, but still a fair way away from the flag. Oh, these are big momentum putts. Let's make this one from nine feet. Their short game has been very impressive. They've kept this player inside the top ten all day long because of it. Good stroke. And that's a way to fight back from a tough break. Well hold. Not a way to grind it out in the bunker, but up and down for the birdie. Nicely done. Leading by a couple after that hole. Teeing off here at the 11th. Yeah, good safe shot this one. That should find the surface. Gee, I wish I could play like this myself. The iron play today has been absolutely stellar. Luke, the greens and regulation, just a fantastic accomplishment. Great to watch. Not a bad line, this. Well, well holds. He'll take the birdie. And just keeping it in neutral on the leaderboard. Teeing off here on the 12th hole. Looks like this one's heading safely for the fairway. Second shot here on the 12th. Opting for the three wood. Sitting at minus nine for the day. Currently in top spot. Love it. Nicely hold for Eagle. That shot's so good, we need to have another look. Current leader enjoys a five shot advantage. You've arrived at a par four. Step up to the tee and own it. Coming off an eagle at the last, momentum on their side for this player. This looks to be heading for the cut stuff. Luke, that did not end up where you said it was going to. It's in the rough.
This one is chewing fiber. Yeah, nicely played. There's a long way, but I tell you what, I've seen it happen before, so there's a chance. Always good to cozy it up to the hole on a long part, isn't it? And with that hole behind us, let's have a look at the contenders and the pretenders. And this effort from Patrick Cantlay just a short while ago. Well, that's certainly worth another look. Let's take a look at the replay. Got to say, I did not see that shot coming. Well done. Let's take a look at the leaderboard. Our leader is up by four shots now. All right, getting into our final stretch. Time to tee off here at the 14th. effort that one second shot here on the 14th That's well played. Pin high. This part of about six feet coming up. That was a gallant attempt. And they'll walk away with a par on this one. So after that hole, this is the current standings on the course. Johnny Mack, what's the news? Down here on the 16th hole, this is Mack Kuchar. Sitting at minus one, trying to break into the top 20. They've holed it. That'll be for Birdie. And that will move him up the leaderboard as well. So after that hole, this is what the leaderboard looks like. Our leader is currently enjoying a four-stroke advantage. Here we find ourselves on the tee of a par four. Do you attack it and try and increase your lead, or do you lay back and play safe? I like to attack it. What do they like to do? That looks to be a fairway finder to me. Yeah. 
I just love the aggressive play there, Rich. That's exactly what I had done. Nobody wants to see somebody laying up on a par four that's drivable. Pull out the big stick. 14 feet to the cup. by the hole always love these opportunities especially when it's for birdie He's making this look easy. Keeps surging ahead. And a nice feeling it must be to have that sizable of a lead coming down the stretch. Currently in first position. Three holes remaining, Luke. This is getting awfully fun. Lovely momentum for this player after that birdie at the last hole. Keep it rolling. This looks to be a fairway seeker to me. Oh, what a shot by our leader. As they drive for show putt for Dover, that was plenty of show there. Looking like they're going to play the fade here. A couple of birdies and a couple of bogeys. Needs to get something going here today. Oh, that's a nice ball flight. Let's get back to it, shall we? Rich, Kevin Kisner is one of these guys who graduated from the University of Georgia. And he is like a bulldog, isn't he? He's like a dog with a bone out on the course. You can tell how important a situation is to a player by looking in their eyes. And if you look at Kevin and you watch him play, you realize that every single shot to him is important. He's got the most steely eyes that I've seen in the game since Ray Floyd. And Ray was probably the toughest character I'd ever seen on a golf course. Kevin Kisner is that guy. He is the toughest man out there in my mind's eye. And with that putt hold, it's back-to-back -back birdies. Back-to-back -back birdies moving the right direction there, Luke. Now six shots in front after that hole. Two holes to go, Luke. Can they hang on? Let's find out. Just a couple to go. Let's see how you handle the penultimate hole. Have you got a read on this one? Well, this has to be more than 40 feet from where they're standing. I'm going to go with 42 feet to the cup. Just missed. 
And it's just about three feet away. And well hold. Let's move on. And this is quality play. Still on top of the leaderboard. What a lovely position to be in, holding the lead, playing the last. Good luck. Well, this should find the short grass. This shot from around 210 yards. Wind is blowing right to left here, and they're going to go ahead and ride the wind back to this pin. Seems to have chosen the three wood. This one could take a little bounce to the left. Getting ready to play their third. Almost hold it. Well, all that hard work. It's time to pay it off. Make this for the tournament. And that's going to do it. Holds the putt for victory. Well played. Look, the victories. Winning never gets old. But this is getting out of hand, isn't it? Another victory on the season. Well, that just about concludes our coverage. On behalf of Rich Beam, I'm Luke Helvey. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you tomorrow.